when her, why, how come others see it? So we keep cleaning this place, and I don't know why he, I don't have a problem with him too, but uh, I don't like what he see. So we only request we need something, you know, special duty permit, something, whatever you got to give that uh, sprint tower. Well, and understand by us, what, whatever we decide tonight does not move forward. It's still up to the city yeah. council. There's, there is already a, a, is it a conditional permit use for the tower on that property? Yes. Permit. Yeah, for the cell tower that's already <coughs> so they, apparently there's already been a concession made uh, for Sprint, which happens to be a, probably have a, little, a couple more dollars than I do, but Sprint got it. Sprint was able to convince the city and to allow them to have a special permit for a tower that should have been zoned in a zone three, C3, and it is in a zone C2. I don't know how Sprint pulled it off, but they did. Madam Chairman, can I respond to that? Sure. So the ordinance has, the zoning ordinance has some peculiarities in it. Um, and one of those is that a cellular tower um, is listed as a special use. You can grant a special use permit. And it's, ex it's listed explicitly. Um, and so it doesn't require a lot of imagination for the city to approve its special use permit for a cellular tower. I believe we saw that not very many months ago, and then there's also federal law requiring mm -hmm. yeah. um, to continue certain ones as well. So yeah, it, there, it gets kind of complicated. Yeah, there's a lot of complications yeah. to that cellular tower. Yeah. Mike and Amy, do you guys have any other, do you have any comments about the potential to issue a special use permit down the line, or is that a possibility, or is it too soon to comment, or? What, do you, what are your feelings on it? Madam Chair, I'm going to try to respond to that. And we do that with some reluctance because when we make a suggestion, it, there are a lot of steps it has to go through. Right. And if it doesn't necessarily lead to success, it, there are a lot of people that get to touch this and, and rule on it, either as a recommendation or final decision. But uh, the suggestion that Commissioner Barnett brought up about um, this oddity in the text about how used cars and new cars are treated differently. Um, and, and maybe I'm being sharing my own feelings about it a little more than I should, because it's not up to me. But uh, procedurally, it seems like a, one option you have is to direct staff uh, to amend the text in the in the ordinance to treat used cars the same as new cars. That would give the city the option of considering a conditional use application for this lot. But there are multiple steps involved. Mm -hmm. So if there's a text amendment, I would say that it would be a question to ask, and then we would report back to you. And then, and then following that, then there would be a separate application for the conditional use permit with, a, with an uncertain outcome. So this is a possibility, but we know there's a lot of steps that have to go and a lot of things would have to take place. But this could potentially be an option. That would... I, I think it's potentially an option. And, and uh, by stating that, I think it would be a good idea for us to return you with some kind of an opinion or something about what the options are before we just go down that road. Right. So the way the code is written now, we cannot issue a conditional use permit or a special use permit for a used car lot in a C2 zone. That is correct. Yeah. Unless they were also selling new cars is how it's stated. So it, has to be. it seems to me that issuing a conditional use permit for this use is not an option unless we change the text. We have an existing land use permit that's been granted by the city administratively. Why can't we just extend that administratively? But it's a land use permit. It's not a conditional use permit. Madam Chairman, Commissioner, 
the land use permit was issued with an expiration date on it. Right. So when it was issued in September, <coughs> it, it was issued with an expiration of, of March 23rd, and it shouldn't have been issued because it was issued on the basis that the land was zoned C3, when in fact it's zoned C2. So procedurally, legally, it seems like you're on shaky ground if you try to issue a land use permit. Even under C3, though, wouldn't they have to have a con conditional use? Even under C3, they don't? I don't think so, because isn't a we don't have permitted C3. use by right in C3? Yes, the permitted by right in C3. Permitted by right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was wrong on that. But that's where they added in the word use. Yeah. yeah. Look, I'm. this is one of the parts of being a planning commissioner that is not something I enjoy at, at all. Um, I agree with Commissioner Copeland. We made a mistake. Um, somebody went and based their life on our mistake. Um, and I think there needs to be something done to minimize the impacts to everybody. And I think I really want to issue a conditional use permit for the for the used car lot in C2. But we can't do that right now. right now. Okay? It's not possible for us to do that right now. I I am happy that he is a small businessman. He is using everybody in town <coughs> as he can. Because um, that is business for us. It's business for the city of Gardner. It's business. It's business for the community as a whole. As a whole. I do not want to do the spot zoning of a C3 in the middle of a C2. Because all we're doing with that is setting the precedent for everyone else to come in and say, "Well, I want to drop an M1 in a C2. I want to drop a RP, uh, you know, an R3 in the middle of an R1. You know." It, it 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 doesn't lend itself for anything in the future for us, for the city of Gardner, for the community itself, to do a spot zoning in the middle of a C2. I think there needs to be some sort of, I think the council needs to come up with some sort of a consideration because that land use is expiring in one day or today. Um, was it April 23rd? It's March. 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 So, um, some sort of a concession to allow him to continue to operate until we, until the city gets this zoning issue worked out as far as the text and the code, if that's the direction that we're going to go. Um, I don't think it's right that we just go ahead and tell him he can't use his business or can't use his, you know, continue to operate his business because we made a mistake. I'm sorry. Have a nice day. Um, I also do not want to put us in the in the situation to where in the future we have much a whole lot more issues. Um, I think there is a middle ground here somewhere. I think it definitely a conditional use permit for five years will give the guy give the the owner a very good chance of of being successful and being able to move to a bigger lot somewhere in Gardner. Um, <coughs> Or deciding that this just isn't what, what he wants and moves on. I think that five-year time frame is a pretty decent time frame to develop that business plan and see where you want to go. It's hard because I don't. I'm not in favor of rezoning it. I'm really not. Um, and that's just that's just based on the fact that that of all the things that I know that can happen in the future with all of this stuff. Not just with this property, but all over the place. Um, but I also do not want to put be responsible for putting somebody out of business because of a mistake that we made administratively. So we can't make any decisions tonight. We can just make recommendations to the City Council. I don't know if we can make a recommendation to the City Council to say we need to look at you know, Mr. Pop, we could table this and direct staff.